Hi, let's now try to understand how a MOSFET or a IGBT is driven in a bridge configuration. Bridge in the sense there will be upper MOSFET or IGBT, there will be bottom MOSFET or IGBT. For the purpose of simulation, we have taken the IC IR2101 and in the input which will be actually coming these two input which will be actually coming from the any digital circuit or from microcontroller programming so for that purpose we are taking some pulse generation here and then we'll see that in this CRO this is connected to channel A and B this IC and then the signal is coming at the rate of 5 volt whereas the supply given to the IC is about 15 volts because for any IGBT or MOSFET to operate satisfactorily the voltage has to be at least above 10 volts and should be limited by some 16 volts so what we have found here we have taken about 15 volts as far as the IC supply is concerned and the beauty of this IC is that this develops a through this bootstrap capacitor develops an isolated supply for the IC why we need that isolated supply if we look at the block diagram of this particular IC you see this is input is high input and low input and then we have totem pole output MOSFET based totem pole output at the um, uh, both the outputs here you see this particular supply VA supply has to be a separate supply because this is uh, because this particular supply VS and VS has to be isolated and it should nothing to do with the negative or the ground terminal whereas the bottom drive can always be a common with the, with the bottom drive can come ground can be common whereas for the upper drive the ground terminal is not possible because this is never connected to ground as far as the IGBT or the MOSFET is concerned so an isolated supply is necessary to be developed and we develop that by this arrangement we take the supply to a diode and then we connect it to VV and then the capacitor with respect to VS because this is ultimately for this supply forms the supply for the upper drive and low drive there is no problem with the always with respect to ground so our output is available at pin number 7 and pin number 5 these are the outputs so these two outputs also we have taken to CRO to see as to what exactly is the behavior now if we simulate this So this is the uh, bootstrap capacitor uh, which forms the isolated supply. Now when we simulate this what we find is that this is my input if you can see the scale the scale is at about uh, 5 volt all of them at 5 volt this is my input the input is at 5 volt and the output is at 15 volts but the beauty is there is a delay time also incorporated here. What is the delay time? You see the uh, uh, this is low here and but this continues to be low after some time also and then when this goes high it it goes to high after some time so this is what is called the dead band and so that avoids the chances of both the upper limb and the lower limb of the IGBT or MOSFET continuously uh, or triggering at the same time so this is what is the arrangement and if you look at the uh, internal block diagram uh, this is the block diagram of this particular IC uh, this is from the manufacturer's data sheets this is how the IG, uh, a MOSFET is uh, connected and in, in a schematic way but in a practical way this is what one has to do is um, we uh, normally we get the uh, drive either from the uh, microcontroller or from the any digital circuit we put a uh, optical isolation for the, the purpose of getting any um, uh, noise from the outside uh, uh, the power and then uh, this is these are all in the 5 volt sector this is all operated in 5 volt sector whereas this operates at a higher voltage of 15 volts this particular IC as we discussed and this is for the low drive and this is for the high drive 
and we know what is our low drive and high drive this is the low drive this is the, uh, sorry this is the low drive and this is the high drive the low drive always is with respect to ground whereas the high drive there is no chance that we cannot have it with respect to ground that is the reason why we develop an isolated supply as per the block diagram that we saw here we develop an isolated supply for this point so that this is the supply for the high drive and this is the supply for the low drive and low drive supply of course is the direct VCC and the common ground whereas the high drive is an isolated uh, supply and then uh, the isolated uh, virtual uh, ground for or the source connects connected to the source of that particular this thing so this is how it works and let's see the simulation once again so what we see that this is my input this is high input and this is high output this is low input and this is low output so this is how it works and they are very very widely used in all uh, breeze diving uh, concepts where uh, for a three phase for single phase uh, where bridge concept is used thank you